loves, my name is Nicole Ballantyne. I'm a wellness and lifestyle entrepreneur. On my channel, I share about pregnancy, wellness, spirituality, and so much more. I also have an apothecary from my CMOS gel. Subscribe so you don't miss a beat. This video, I'll be sharing my pregnancy vitamins and supplements I love. So, hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to do a vitamin haul and it's going to be primarily pregnancy vitamins but just really like the overall supplements i take in general um, some of them i've been taking before pregnancy and some of them i started taking during pregnancy and pretty much all of them i plan on taking throughout postpartum because i just feel like it'll be super super helpful and i have jack here because he's seen the benefits of these vitamins Stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys a little preview of my belly bump since I'm now at 24 weeks. Um, I do have an update video that I will link here, my 24 week update. Um, so if you are liking this vitamin video as I go through them, please feel free to check that out as well as I'm just documenting my overall pregnancy journey. <laughs> so about the vitamins. So yes. <laughs> so now we are going to talk about the vitamins and the supplements that I take. I am going to start with the tea just because it's not a vitamin and it's just one item that I take. This one is called Hibiscus Hub. It's a balanced pregnancy blend. It has dandelion, dandelion ginger, lemon, balm, mint, nettle, oat straw, raspberry leaf. All really good herbs for pregnancy. Um, nettle helps with cleansing the blood, ginger helps with digestion, and if you are pregnant, you might notice that you are more constipated, and that is because your body has chosen to slow down the digestive process in hopes that the baby will get more nutrients. So nature working, it's magic for us, um, and that's really great, but then sometimes the discomfort is that you're constipated, so. Another thing I'll mention is when you are pregnant, you need to be drinking lots of water. I cannot tell you how many times I got nauseous or didn't feel well. And it hasn't been many, thankfully, but I feel like it were times where it could have been avoided if I had taken better care that day and didn't get so caught up in what I was doing. So I highly recommend like 100 ounces of water. That might be a lot, but you really, really need it. It'll help with digestion. It'll help with your mood. It'll help with the baby drinking more regularly because it's a growing um, person inside your body. And just like you need water and you need food, it needs water and food and even more so and more consistently while you're pregnant. So now let's get into the vitamins. The first one, I love this one so much. This is the My Kind Organics. I think the light is kind of blocking it, but I'll have all of these listed down below. And I love this one because it's Garden of Life. It's USDA organic, and it's a prenatal once daily, and it's a whole food vitamin. So really high quality prenatal vitamin. It runs about $60, 65 on Amazon. You could probably find it in a store for like 80. On their website, they have the best price, but is sold out so I highly recommend this and it's once a day so I'd rather take one prenatal than have to take like multiple doses then the next thing is a prenatal DHA so the DHA vitamins are great because as you see on the container it's probably backwards but it says it supports brain development of babies during pregnancy and lactation omega-3s it's like brain food for babies so especially in your first trimester you want to be taking this religiously i'm planning on pretty much taking all of these vitamins through postpartum just because i want to have as minimal effects during that time as well and this one is from the company nordic naturals um these were recommended by my midwife um, also like vitamin between my midwife and my mom is pretty much how I got most of my vitamin recommendations. The next thing, this one is nature's bounty, but I wouldn't get caught up on the brand. This is a calcium, magnesium, and zinc blend. And calcium is really great for your teeth. Um, the baby is growing bones and will be taking a lot of your calcium. So I highly, highly recommend 
getting a supplement that has calcium in it. Most prenatals do, but you might need additional um, calcium just because like you're giving that much of your um, nutrients to the baby. And I've seen it where your teeth can really actually fall out from not having enough calcium if, while you're pregnant. So if you wanna keep your teeth in your mouth, get some calcium. Magnesium is gonna be really great for digestion and also for sleep. So um, that's why I like the calcium magnesium zinc combo and zinc is really good for immunity boosting. The next one, so so far I've covered three and I'm going into the fourth and it is a lot of vitamins, but I promise you, um, I feel like I've kept my symptoms at bay and I have, have had more good days pregnant than bad because I've been taking this along with my eating and nutrition. So this is recommended by my midwife. This is an iron supplement called Blood Builder. Most of us don't get enough iron and that is literally why she told me to supplement it. She's like, I think you need more iron. I think it'll help with your energy levels. And I think you can attest to it has. So. <laughs> a next thing, I really love this product and this is not just a pregnancy product for me. This is an overall everyday product is seed. So seed, this one says I got my back. This is their travel bottle. But Seed is a really great company that makes symbiotics. A symbiotic is a prebiotic and a probiotic. And I love it because it makes you poop. <laughs> it works like magic. Um, it really regulates your digestive system because it's giving your microbiome the good bacteria it needs to clear itself out. So it's really great for gut balance. Gut, like, well, I guess, yeah, gut balance. <laughs> Next, Super B Complex. This is also a great vitamin to take on a regular basis. Um, if you are someone who's vegan or vegetarian who's pregnant, you absolutely need to be taking this. Um, most vegans, vegetarians, because they're not eating animal proteins, they might not be getting, en getting enough B12 and B6. And the B vitamins are known for giving you energy. Um, if you look at athletes who like do heavy weight lifting and things like that, they tend to eat a lot of meat. So if you're choosing not to eat meat, that is completely fine. And I think everyone should do what works for their body, but you might need to supplement and a super B complex is great for that. With this one, one tablet a day seems to be good. And it says aids in the conversion of food into energy. So absolutely. Um, B vitamins are just really great for boosting your energy. Next. So this is a little fun fact about vitamin D. Most people don't get enough vitamin D and most people need about 10,000 milligrams of vitamin D, right? Or MCGs, right? Well, this says 5,000 IU. So I usually want to take 10,000. Um, and I do that because that's what my midwife recommended. She said most of us need about 10,000 and that's about two of these soft gels daily. Of course, you get vitamin D from going outside, but again, most of us, we have created lives where we're living in buildings, we're working in offices, and we just don't get as much sun as we need, especially if you melanated. We really, like our bodies love, need, thrive off the sun. Last but not least, actually it's not last, there's one more special one, but I do have St. John's wort. And this is not a prenatal vitamin. And I will actually, when I do list them, I will separate what I feel like is really for pregnancy or postpartum and what I choose to additionally supplement for my well-being. St. John's wort is one of them. It, as it says on the jar, it promotes a positive mood and I really have seen the difference in taking it with my regulation of mood. Um, if I am too tired and I need, if I'm naturally tired, it'll put my body to sleep because that's what it needs to do. It kind of finds homeostasis or balance within the body. And if I am like hyperactive or anxious, it helps to calm me down. So. I love taking it because it's a natural supplement as I'm looking to um, 
as I mentioned in my ADHD video, as I'm looking to get a diagnosis, as, but as I was saying, so as I'm looking into getting an ADHD diagnosis, um, St. John's Worts has been really, really helpful just because it's been, it's a natural supplement. It, it really helps regulate my mood and it just kind of keeps me balanced. So the last supplement I'm going to bring up is very near and dear to my heart because I make it. <laughs> so I take CMOS and I have my personal brand of CMOS, Cole Apothecary. This is the CMOS gel and I take it every day in my tea or in something hot. It's really, really good for adding nutrients into your body. Sea moss is a sea algae that has 92 of 102 minerals the body needs. So imagine what that looks like when you're taking it during pregnancy. It's really giving you um, kind of like a holistic approach to a supplement because you're getting a lot of nutrients by just taking one thing. So even though I don't think it's the only thing you should be taking during pregnancy, I think it absolutely helps and um, just adds and enhances what I am taking when it comes to vitamins. Another uh, version of that is the Purple Moss, which I have here, my Cole Apothecary Purple Moss, and I will link where you can get it at um, on my website. But Purple Moss is really, really great for breastfeeding. So for breastfeeding in particular and producing milk, I highly recommend the Purple Moss. Um, it's darker in color and also more nutrient rich, but both jars have 92 of 102 minerals, vitamin A, C, K, um, B6 vitamins and B12, which again is great if you are vegan. And so what I love about sea moss that's another thing is that it acts as vegan collagen. So similar to collagen, grass-fed beef collagen, um, what sea moss does, it actually helps your body produce collagen. So instead of just trying to replace the collagen with animal collagen, you're actually naturally gonna be producing more collagen when you are taking sea moss. And Jack also knows how great sea moss is for ridding the body of mucus. <laughs> and congestion and of course going through a pandemic um, adding sea moss into my prenatal routine even though it's always been in my regular routine i feel like has really helped keep me safe um, i am vaccinated but i think supplementing that as well supplementing sea moss as well as social distancing have really kept me immune and just like away from the potentiality of catching COVID. So highly, highly recommend it. <laughs> now I'm ready to do a 24 week reveal, six month update um, when it comes to my belly bump. And as you can see, I'm in a little bralette, but this is what my stomach looks like. So if you've seen in the previous video, I love that it's always next to your head, like <laughs> for reference. <laughs> as you can see, I've definitely gotten bigger my stomach is stretching especially under here and i'm feeling it. i'll drop it down just so you guys can see my belly button sticks out i do not have the linea negra which is a line that you get down the middle of your stomach about 75 percent of pregnant women have it i don't have it i'm quite okay with that but either way if it does come up it's something that's going to go away or does go away over time and yeah, there you guys go. <laughs> so uh, um, if you have any questions or suggestions of videos that you wanna see from me or from us, I can't wait to hear it. And just thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> if you made it all the way here, you might as well just subscribe though.